Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Talula Doherty Aditono. If it's your first time watching me, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so much. I love that you are here. Thank you so much once again for being here with me. So today I want to talk about how to build confidence. I think as women, you know, we go through different phases in our lives and sometimes our confidence is at an all time high and sometimes it may be a little bit lower and we need to build it back up. So I want to, you know, just give a few tips and ideas for how you can build your confidence if, you know, maybe you're a new mum, I'm a new mum, my baby's under a year old, or maybe you've taken a career break and you want to get back into your career, or maybe even if you're switching careers from one field to another field, these are some of the ways that you can build confidence. So first up is go for the small wins. Yes. Going for the small wins means that, you know, try to achieve something, a goal that's small, a bit smaller, um, but also very attainable. And I find that by doing that, by going for a small win, you're able to build confidence because you're like, oh, awesome. I was able to achieve that. And if I've been able to achieve that, then I can probably achieve, you know, the next rung, the goal after that. So try to accumulate small wins. And I feel like by accumulating small wins, this will lead you to your bigger and more exciting wins. Another way that you can build your confidence as a woman is by surrounding yourself with very positive people. I feel like emotions and vibes are definitely contagious. So if most of your support system are positive, that positivity is going to rub off on you. And, uh, and conversely, if they're not positive, if they're negative, that negativity is kind of going to rub off on you as well. So definitely surround yourself with positive people and also confide in them. Tell them, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. Please encourage me. Please hold me accountable. I feel like accountability is, you know, such a big thing. And I don't think people talk about it enough. We're just expected to achieve these big goals and dreams and we're not really taught how. And I think accountability is a major, major key. You know, have somebody, whether it's like maybe going to the gym or whatever it is you want to achieve, have somebody who's also got the same goal, who can hold you accountable and then you can hold them accountable. And that way you're both, you know, growing in confidence together and also winning together. Another way I think as women we can build confidence is by having confidence in our appearance, yes, in our grooming, in our hair, our makeup, our outfit choices, you know, wear things that make you feel good. Don't feel like you always have to be on trend or you always have to have some luxury item that's going to validate you or validate your look. No, wear items that flatter you, that you feel good in, you know, wear your hair in a way that makes you feel confident, makes you feel beautiful. As women, we are all very beautiful. Beautiful. It's just about accentuating those things that, you know, that make us unique, that make us who we are. And this is going to take a bit of effort. It may not be something that you are naturally used to. So you can, you know, take a makeup class so you know how to do your makeup yourself at home. Um, you can watch videos online on how to, you know, put yourself together. I have a video on how to look expensive. If you're interested, I'm going to link that down below. So I feel like when I look good, you know, I feel good. That's, that's a general thing, isn't it? So I feel doing that will also help you to feel more confident. And lastly, self-care. I feel like self-care is such a huge thing as women, especially if you know, you're know you a career person, like I said, business owner, wife, mother, we wear all these hats and you know we're always taking care of other people and putting other people before ourselves. But I feel indulging, in, it's not even indulging, practicing self-care will definitely help you feel more confident, whether it's taking that time to have a spa day at home, go to the spa, watch your favorite movie, read your favorite book, listen to your podcast, doing your morning routine, doing your skincare routine, whatever self-care means to you, taking the time to indulge in self-care is definitely another way that you are going to feel more confident and feel more fearless going out there and trying to smash your goals. So I hope this video has been helpful in helping you to feel, you know, like, ah, oh, like you've got this, you know, like whatever it is you want to do, you do have the capacity and, and you do, I am telling you, you do have the capacity, you can do it. Please do believe in yourself and please do practice these steps. Tell me if they help and if they do help you feel more confident and we can always continue this chat in the comments. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.